Yeah. Second error tonight as he played the short hop well and he gets another chance here. Sets. High throw. Oh man. Rizzo collided with Wallace and he's down. And he hasn't moved yet. Dave McKay is there. Mark O'Neill coming out. Oh man, we hope Anthony's all right. Two large men there colliding at first base. Looks like a very routine play for Paredes, but he makes a high throw to first. Wallace goes oh. up. Oh man, looked like the left foot came around and caught Anthony on the side of the head as he was running past. And he landed. Very hard. Well, just Boy, Wallace fortunate he didn't get spiked either. Yeah, just the awkward position of his body as he was up in the air crossing first base crashed to the ground couldn't even get an arm out to protect himself. Looks like Mark O'Neill's checking the upper body. Ed Halber checking the uh, leg. Oh, he looked like he hyperextended that left leg when he landed on first. Yeah. Oh, what a landing. Gosh. It's like an Olympic ski jumper that crashes on landing right there. Just totally out of control as he hits the base. His left leg gets flipped up in the air behind him. Lands awkwardly on his shoulders and his head. And he's now on his feet. But he will come out of the game. Looks a little unstable on his feet there. He must have really got his bell rung. It's good to see him up and moving. But he's got a big welt on his forehead as well. Cubs top two prospects going into this season have been injured on this road trip. Brett Jackson on the catch the other night. He's feeling better and Anthony Rizzo will head into the clubhouse. I'm guessing it's going to be Joe Mather. You see him waiting right there at the top of the stairs uh, possibly for a helmet. You could easily slide Mather out to right field 